There are a number of Swim With Wales organisations and I, I think that's good because I think the ultimate experience is to see the whole of a whale underwater. However, before you go swimming with a whale, you would be best if you yourself became an experienced, not accomplished, but you were comfortable in the water. Comfortable with a mask on your face, a snorkel, your head in the water, fins on your, on your feet. If you're relaxed in the water, you're much more likely to get close to a whale and have a good experience with it than if you're unhappy and breathing hard and kicking hard and splashing your fins and all that sort of thing. Um, plus, if you can dive, if you're an experienced diver, then you can enjoy the whole whale experience that much more because you're not frightened about water going down your snorkel, etc. So I would say, if you, um, if you plan to swim with whales, then spend a bit of time learning to swim yourself would be the first thing. But um, then after that, it's, well, the, the sky's the limit, really. There's a number of places where, where you can get close to, to them underwater. Don't expect, don't expect the best experience right from the start. The vis will be, visibility will be different. You might meet a friendly whale, you might meet a more, a more wary whale. Just be prepared to give it time, be patient, go more than once, um, but eventually you'll be rewarded. And when it does, it will change your life forever.